Ah, yes. I wonder if it was an electric stuff with electric motor or it was with horses all the time. You know, horses, railroad, horses, metal, and then electric motor, no way anymore. Anyway, do you know these buildings? Are they for religious purposes? And you see the, the street unlevel. You see these windows here. Look at the size of the door. And look at these are magnetrons. They're everywhere, like all nations. I mean, this is in the United States of America, but all the other countries have the same patterns in the same stuff everywhere. So the uh, same empire. I don't even know why people call it Tartaria. I don't even know anymore anything anymore. Look at the size of these buildings, you know, so huge and big and the windows and the entrances, just some examples. So, you know, look, this is the brave humanity that cut the giant trees, not the ones you see as mountains, but the smaller ones, you know, because um, in the 1800s, there was no United Nations and nobody cared anything about any anything. So, you know, look, I like I like this. Uh, I love this picture because it says the Hearst or the Hearst, whatever, Zeppelin or Zeppelin round world flight. This was in the 1800s, round world flight. So is it round because of a globe spinning in space with curved waters and the Zeppelin doesn't have to adjust to the curvature of the spinning ball in space with curved water 70%, you know, or not? I know it's too much. You don't like me when I say that. So anyway, hey, difference between the old stuff, the old style, old school stuff and the new. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Matrix style? Ugly, so ugly. Or do you prefer the old stuff? I mean, old is spooky, uh, but new is spooky in its own way. You know, Matrix type of spooky. We'll see some Matrix. This is Seattle. It's called the Great Fire. And then I compared this photo with the Second World War. Boom, 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 bombs, bombs like that. And it looks the same. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. Because you look at the bombings of the Second World War in Russia and Germany and everywhere else. So, like, in the Civil War as well in the States. And it's exactly the same picture. So... Speaking about the resets, people speak, oh, do a chronology about the resets. Well, there you go, you know, the great fires. Look at look at the years. Great fires everywhere, 1755 to 1830, and then this one is from 1831 to 1848. You can pause the video, I'm not going to spend too much time. And 1848 to 1870, or is that 1870? So you can investigate it just like great fire, blah, blah, blah. And that blah, 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 it can be any city or place in the world. Oh, yes, and 1870 to 1918. Usually all the great fires have finished by the end of the First World War. So they started in the, in the 18th century, like 1750 or so. And uh, the, big, the, the big majority of them were like between 1800 and 1900. And then some of them until 1918, 1920. And that's it. So, yeah, uh, yeah, great fires, chronology. So, yeah, the great fires. And you see these guys with like their uh, super awesome suits and everything. And hey, we are prepared to. This is, these are the firefighters. So, uh, yeah, great fires or something else. I've seen some dynamite stuff as well. Yeah, uh, big buildings that did not survive in the fire because, you know, the fire burns stone, but it doesn't burn the trees and the leaves like in the Second World War pictures I've shown you in the, in the past videos. Yeah. And then you find these cities and places in the States and in the world, in Russia and Africa and Australia with a big mountain, like big mountains of dirt and whatever. Uh, but you still have houses and buildings and towers and, and then you have a great fire and that's it. So, yeah. Um, don't speak about previous humanities. Oh, this is from The Matrix, the original movie. Such a young Keanu Reeves. I like Keanu Reeves. He's so awesome. And then Morpheus comes in. Hey, come on, Neo. I'm going to wake you up. And then, oh, I, I can't show. So pause, but don't show it too much, that photo. Because if you show too much that photo, it's too much. Um, and then, hey, human beings turn into batteries. And what are batteries? They're energy uh, for energy. Actually, each one of us has energy to... Um, light a small light bulb if you didn't know that so what are the human beings what, what is the human species and who created us i'll touch on, on that stuff and then neo gets angry angry and then he points with a finger just like you point with a finger to myself and other people and say no leave me alone let me out of here i don't like you why have you woken me up i'm sorry i'm just trying to help to be honest it's interesting because when i saw the movie like uh, the matrix and stuff and I also like the Morpheus I am so cool, so calm. I didn't get angry like the big majority of people. I was like, wow, finally, awesome, super, ultra, mega cool. And then I started watching anime and like uh, movies and going more to the gym and say, hey, well, life is short. We're going to die soon. Let's enjoy life. So yeah, uh, okay. So who built the underground tunnels in the world? There's so many of them under the cities. This is the technology. Um, 
This is so awesome, Supreme, because this is a technology that built all the all the super amazing religious buildings in the world, like cathedrals and stuff and super towers and everything I've shown you in the past pictures. And I'm, I'm going to make videos with more awesome photos. So this is a super amazing look at the, the, the wooden wheel. And, you know, it's, it's sad because imagine like you have to work with this technology to build all the major buildings. And then the, the horse uh, does an S-H-I-T from from its butt and then you have to clean it. So that's mighty amazing. And then this is like the technology we use today to build the tunnels like you know these huge machines so you can imagine what i'm trying to say my message to you so what type of technology and architecture do you like do you like the old stuff the old school stuff which was everywhere in the world and people unfortunately they call it with tartaria this that, that or do you like the new stuff which is matrix style you know uh, ugly and um vertical ugliness and it looks all the same and we feel like a robot and like a battery like morpheus show to neo so this is like the typical old world like you, this is your typical old world everywhere doesn't matter if they speak English or Russian or Spanish or Portuguese or in the middle of nowhere of Africa or uh, Asia or Australia. So, um, yeah, and the trams and the electric motors and electricity everywhere and wireless. So uh, let's move on. Hey, the tunnels. So you see like big cities, uh, modern cities, and then underneath them, there's like these huge tunnels and everywhere. And like, many of these places like today are closed by the government and the FBI and, and the CIA. And if you try to go in, you get uh, arrested. So why? Um, I don't know. So who built them? Nobody speaks. And then Russia has a big majority of these. And of course, the states as well. And, and there's so many of them, we don't even know of their existence because, you know, uh, there's so many things we don't know. And then, of course, we have the 1800s machines, super big. And all of them were electric. You see, la galerie des machines électriques, la France. And with the French girls. Although these French girls, they're, you know, and the guys, phew, their clothes but you can see so these machines are electric and in the 20th century everything had to be with gas and oil um because it was so cheap so yeah the electric machines i'm just wondering if they were built by the human species that were dressing like this in the 1800s or not anyway uh yeah so your typical uh, every day from those days of the 1800s and early 1900s i mean humanity were still um getting used to using technology and they also use these trains to do wreck spectacles like these uh, the same the same way you go today like to these like spectacles with motor like with cars and and more bikes so they will use these two trains uh, to have wreck so to collide them so obviously they didn't build that technology because if you built that technology and you just use it for a wreck spectacle to say yeah man like you know the the super awesome cool american men who are so great with beer to look at the, the because before the men would just go with their beer to look at two trains collide and now they go to underground mixed martial arts and all that stuff um and anyway so you know like i don't i don't know if this because i'm trying to make a, a connection between these medieval type as they call them uh, metal suits and <clears throat> And the stuff used in like in super movies and video games when you have like these soldiers using metal armor, soldiers using metal armor. So is it like to do with like uh, technology and electromagnetism and electricity? Uh, you can pause this video to take it all in because of the buildings of the world. And then you can decide if they're religious for God and Jesus Christ or not. I don't know. I'm just trying to understand why they're all the same. And then I saw red mercury and container and capacitor and frequency and resonation, resonating and uh, antenna and um, yeah. So technology of flight from the early 1900s to the Second World War, obviously we did not create this. It was given to us because it's impossible for our human species to go to, uh, I felt something, I felt the vibrations of my, of my laptop, electromagnetism. So to go from this to that um, without any help, now nah, it's impossible. All this, for example, electromagnetic induction levitation, because it's electromagnetic levitation, not against gravity, but it's levitation for electromagnetism. But that's, yeah. So uh, super big swords are not just created for decoration purposes, it's because the humans would use them would be of that height uh, proportion, proportionally speaking, so yeah. And then this is in the middle of nowhere. It's quite fascinating because they say, oh, in the ancient times, in the ancient Egyptian and Babylonian times, the slaves, uh, they accidentally cut that perfect cut machine diamond laser type of thing. Uh, and then they just left it there. But our superhumanity human species from the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, and especially the 2000s, we still leave that there. Why not just use our super technology to take it and to make something useful? I don't know. Maybe because we can't. Uh, anyway. 
Do you see this? Is this natural creation on the spinning ball, 70% curved water on the exterior of the sphere spinning in space? Or was it created artificially because the cuts are so special and so awesome? Laser type diamond, so artificial type stuff. Because they look artificial. Yeah, so what humanity did this many, many years ago while the Earth was spinning in space with dinosaurs. Uh, this one is from the American Satan movie 2017. Yeah, sure, I'm not going to go into details, but I just liked the gorgeousness of the actress. Like, she looks so pretty. Uh, and I, I even made, like, a zoom. So that's definitely something very feminine, very pretty. I don't know, I just, like, I saw it and I just want to just include. Hey, Angelina Jolie with, let's see some one eye stuff. And don't ask me why, because I have no idea what the one eye means. So literally, because there's so many YouTubers out there who just want to attract your attention. I'm just saying, I'm ignorant. I don't know what it means. Angelina Jolie played... Um, Tomb Raider, so I like that. Hey, this is like an awesome one with a pyramid and everything. So, my Michael Jackson, what's up, Jay? Um, and Justin Bieber, back in his good old days. And I'm actually looking at something at the bottom of the picture. The hills have sizes, but the pyramid is also very important, the, the, the triangle. Star Wars. Um, literally, I could make a channel only with the one eye in entertainment, movies and songs and TV series and everything else. Uh, but it would be boring for you, wouldn't it? Maybe not. Maybe I should. Hey, Batman. I'm Batman. You're Batman, but why Why always with the one eye? Yeah. Hey, Doctor Strange. What's up? Doctor Strange. I kind of like like these movies with Doctor Strange. Hello. Ah, too much makeup. Um, and yeah, of course, with the Egyptian type. It's not Egyptian anyway, but you know. Hey, why only entertainment? Bagels. 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 Hot, fresh bagels. Hey, every day. Einstein bros. Even in bagels. But this is because of the bagel, because the bagel has that, that shape, you know? Yeah, so anyway, look at this. I mean, we could go on and on forever, right? But let's just move a bit. Hey, Faust. And then we have like the, the ugly face with the horns. So I know like Eminem said, it's like the boy in the bubble who never could adapt. I'm trapped. If I could go back, I never would have wrapped. I sold my soul to the devil. I'll never get it back. I don't know what to make of this. And is it to do only with rappers or is it like something else? DMX, also a rapper, said, I sold my soul to the devil and the price was cheap. Ayo, it's cold on this level because it's twice as deep. Hmm. And then Tupac, also a rapper, said, I was so money oriented, initiated as a thug, fiending, fiending for wicked, wicked adventures, ambitious as I was. Picture a nigga on the verge of living insane. Also, I sold my soul for a chance to kick it and bang. And I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just reading the verses, okay? Don't, don't, I'm just reading the verses of a rapper. I'm not doing anything bad. And Jay-Z as well said, um, Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Illuminati want my mind, soul, and my body. Dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Secret society trying to, trying to keep the, the eye on me. Yeah, so all these rappers. And then there's Beyonce as well. She does this with the pyramid uh, in, in the concert. So do you have to do that? And then Matthew says, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? But then I don't even understand what the soul is and what's after life and if I'm going to live somewhere or not. So I'm just like trying to understand. And I see this one eye pyramid stuff on the, the United States dollar. I mean, at the end of the day, if I, if I tell you, would you do the, the science stuff if I give you $1,000 billion? Of course you would, because you need $1,000 billion to live this life in a good way. So don't be a hypocrite, because I would do it as well, because I need money. So for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. I'm sorry for being an anti hypocrite against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hey, I'm just reading. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, does this guy exist? The ugly guy with red body and the horns? Does he exist or not? Because if he does exist, then I guess also like sexy angels exist, exist as well, because like, that's how they put it, like ugly demons and sexy angels. So, and then people go to concerts and they do this to horn stuff. So do they actually know what they're doing? Uh, but then again, does that uh, two finger type of thing, does that have to do with the horns? So there, is there like a guy who controls this world? But then if there's this guy, of course, there has to be like a boss who is also like uh, like cooler than this guy. I don't know uh, what to make anymore. That's the guy with the horns. Yeah. And of course, in this picture, I'm, all, I'm, I'm actually focusing on focusing on the hills have sizes, but it's important for the bagel and the eye and stuff. So don't don't get mad at me. I mean, don't get, don't be like this guy. Don't be the guy. Let's go back to let's go back to oh pause. Let's go back to a hey, no no. Let me out of here. No, it's your fault. I'm awake. No, don't be like that. Be like me. I'm cool. Let's just 
go to the gym and play video games okay okay so i'm not going to show you the hills have sizes like before because i know you enjoy it but let's go to something like more uh, gorgeous i mean not that i don't enjoy it but I, I i let's finish the video with something hey that's beautiful that is beautiful oh, you thought i, I was going to show you the guy the red guy with the horns no i'm going to show you something gorgeous beautiful it's like you know the 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 nose and the lips and the, the eye and the smile. You know, what caught me was the smile. This is like your high school or university sweetheart that you never had. So see you in the next video. Well, maybe if some of you had the luck. So if you did have the, the luck, then good for you. Uh, see you in the next video.